Right, hi everybody. This week's vlog is slightly different because what we've got is the best looking man in angling, possibly apart from Alex Bones, here with me today to talk a little bit about his match yesterday because Andy Gelder has qualified for Fishermania. First of all, well done, mate. Cheers, thank you, Willie. A absolutely amazing. Thank you. Because you qualified two years ago, didn't you? Yes. So, obviously, you were quite excited about the fact that you've qualified and you've been and already fished the match, or? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, come close two years ago, so hopefully learn a few things. And Yeah, because James, your travelling partner, was in it last year. Was it last year, So, yeah. obviously, like, you're, you've been there every year, so you must be building up a bit of knowledge about the venue and... Uh... Yeah, yeah, well... You'd like to think so, but you know yourself, like you were there last year with yeah. Andy Levers, and yeah. uh, you know yourself that the draw takes, you know, it's a big, big part in it. Absolutely. For me, I mean, at Fishermania, one of the best ones last year, uh, I say best ones, I don't mean this in a cruel way at all. I watched Perry Stone yeah. practice on peg 16 on about the Tuesday. He must have had £200. He, yeah, couldn't, yeah, yeah. he couldn't stop catching carp. And then I just thought, well, if it stays like that, whoever draws that peg's going to win. And Perry Stone, drew that peg yeah, and yeah, I yeah. thought well it could be all over but when we got there the wind's blowing down the other end of the lake and it's a complete there's you might as well not even bother setting up there yeah. so that's fishing I mean you're always going to have better pegs and better areas aren't you so that's right, yeah you that's know right. yeah yeah I think that's fair enough right tell us a little bit about yesterday then. so it was Larford Lakes yeah it was Larford Lakes um I've drawn peg 22 on the match lake which is uh, on the shallow bank about two pegs before the island yeah I thought to myself well it's not a bad area, but you go to Larford in big matches or any matches to draw an end peg, Absolutely, as you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, and especially when there's 130 anglers on about 140 pegs of lake, you know, there's not a lot of space. I so, think you definitely had somebody next to you, didn't oh, you? Oh yeah, there was there was a, nobody had an empty peg. No, because they didn't they pegs. didn't use the third lake because. The, am I right? Down underwater. Yeah, it was underwater. Oh, it was underwater. Was underwater. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously they did the right Specially thing by match. just splitting it between the two. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, it's it's one of those. You, you go to you go then. I want an MPEG, and you don't draw it, and you're like, oh, oh dear, it's gonna get one from MPEG anyway. We'll just fish for a section anyway, and you know, and I've I've just fished a, a, a real steady match and couldn't hold the pole. So I've just chucked a method. What was wind there. coming across here? Is it? Yeah, right? it was like it was calm at the back of the island, but it was coming across and from the side of the island as well. So yeah, you couldn't yeah. even hold six six sections. It yeah, was just yeah, all it was over. so windy yesterday. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was. You know, I, Andy, <coughs> excuse me, Andy from angling to, uh, um, from the sky. Oh yeah, yeah. He come round. Two hours to go, I'll pick 42 end peg on the other side, it's got 70 to 80 pound. What have yeah. you got? I says I've got 50 to 60. Yeah. And bearing in mind, he's an end peg, I thought, well, he's going to catch 50, yeah. 60 pound in the last two hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still in the race, but yeah. his peg's better than yours yeah. for the last two hours, but definitely. It, it never come into my head, you know, am I gonna, I'm going to win this. Yeah. It never happened, which I think was quite good because. I kept me cool and you know if I'd have thought, oh, good, you know, I've got a chance here, I'm close. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd have maybe messed my match up, you know. Yeah. You know how it goes when you the pressure sometimes gets to you. But, yeah. Um, and as it's turned out, he's not caught anything, and, and I've just beat him by 800 grams. I mean, 800 grams. That's not even a fish at Larford. No. That's not. That's just your average size you could of fish. Catch a skimmer that big. You could, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's probably a shuck one. You know, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. You might even catch a skimmer and it, oh, it's come off. Oh, never mind. I don't yeah, care. You know, yeah, because it's, it's yeah, eight hundred grams is nothing. Obviously, for that, it's yeah. the name of the game. You know, it, if you win, you win. But my heart's sank for the lad. Yeah. If that had been me driving home, well. Yeah, you've been gutted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Been really, but really you, you know, you know, you know, me and you know. The, the margins in match fishing are just getting smaller and smaller. Yeah. It's like I was saying last week, I think I was only a couple of pounds clear yeah, yeah. of the lad in, in the in the match this. And how many festivals have you won by, oh, he's lost a fish, I had a fish on time. Yeah. I had two fish in the last five minutes. It, yeah. You know, it really does make a difference, doesn't it? And now, it does, yeah. you know, the standard of angler is getting so high if there's two or three of you fighting it out, you know it's just ever so close. It's just ever so close. So tell us a little bit yeah. about tactics you've used then. What have you? You've so you, it's blowing a gale, so yeah. feed is your main attack. Yeah, well, rod and lat, yeah, bomb and feeder really. Bomb. Um, yeah, I've, feeder. I've started my match at, at five sections, fishing a, a banded six mil pellet, feeding four mils, and straight away I've got an F1. Then then I've gone in again and foul up one and lost it, and then never had another bite for like 
20 minutes or so on it. Right. Um, what, just just potting a few? Yeah. Because you couldn't have thrown in that wind, surely no, not. No, no, no. Just like potting, say, a dozen four, four mil hard pellets. Uh, then I chucked a bomb out because everybody said, oh, it's been, been catching on a bomb. Chucked a bomb out over where I've been pinging a few pellets. I've had two F1s, I think. Right, right. And then what, nothing. fishing an 8mm <clears throat> pellet on uh, the Yeah, an 8mm, yeah. You're fishing a long hook length on that? 18 or just inch, 18 18 inch hook inch. length to an eight, 18 hook and a 18 hook length. Right, right. Um, because the bites are vicious, I'm guessing. Yes. You don't want to be fishing like. Oh, 12. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> It'll be oh, like that. Uh, even, oh, nothing yeah, there. Even the F1s are. Uh, well, you know, they're probably they're worse, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah they're yeah. ravenous on there. Yeah. And, th and then, you know, you just, I just felt like it wasn't right because I was I was feeding and I was getting a few indications and nothing was happening. So I'd like feed, then cast my bomb over my feed and you'd get an indication straight away and then nothing. As if they're coming straight to the bait, yeah. but if they don't take your bait, yeah. that's it, that, tough, yeah, you missed your chance. And I just, I just felt like something wasn't quite right. So I've, I've chucked a method feeder over it with just micros round it and an 8mm eight mil, eight mil banded pellet, same yeah. again, 018 up length, and, it, and it's gone round with a carp. And then it's just what a decent fish are they decent yeah like fish? four pounders i mean right, I, yeah. i've been lucky sometimes i've had to wait a long time for a bite but i've had some ever big fish I, i've really? had one 15 16 pound wow I've been I've had had right rather two than 10 pounders they have i've had a few below four pound but the average was four to seven pound i've and got and just I've, micro pellets <clears throat> just micro fishery micros around yeah. the right, yeah. right just just wetting them a little bit and yeah i just i just dampen them off and then obviously tip them out and I yeah. just keep keep spraying some water on them just to keep them a keep nice, them nice yeah. consistency. Do you use anything to bind them together? I don't put anything on them. No, no, no you no. probably just like put sticking the pellets yeah, on Yeah, yeah, if, if, if they're messing up I'll just add a bit of ground bait to it right, and, right, and that'll yeah. stick them yeah. up a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, I like but, style. Oh, there's many different ways to do it. Yeah, of course, it? yeah. And do you think like fishing an 8mm, <laughs> you because know, I don't think many people would have fished an 8mm on the hook. It, like people. They like to, you know, fishing micros, I might fish a six or even yeah, a four yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah. some maggots or a piece of corn, but an eight mil pellet, but that's what they eat. Is that what you're well, sort of thinking yeah, was? I think, yeah, I mean, I, I always like to use like a white pellet or a six mil, just a standard six mil, like yeah, you just said. Yeah. But I thought, well, I'm feeding eight mils. I'll just pop an eight mil on. And, yeah. and like I say, it went round. So I don't think, I think that sometimes anglers can get a bit over you know, over confused with changing hook yeah. weights to what the fish want because yeah. I think when they come in to, to eat the, the method, they're coming in for one thing and that's food. Yeah. And no matter what your hook bait is, they're going to eat it. Yeah. It's just yeah. a matter of being almost in, giving them a little, in, little bit of a target. There you go. Eat that. Yeah. 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 You, got, you know, I, like I said, there was I didn't feel like I needed to change hook weights. So at one point, I got an orange boilie out. Yeah. And I put it. I got my hook length out and put it on a spike while while my method was out. And I and I, I was just about to reel in, and my rod went because it had been like 15 minutes, yeah. and then my rod went, and I thought, well, what's the point in? What's yeah. the point in changing now to an orange boiler when it's just gone round? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It, it's I think that's a lot. I think that's something that a lot of people really struggle with because they almost like overcomplicate it. I've seen people side trays with like ten different types of bait on, yeah, yeah, and whenever yeah. I go and watch you or anyone who's, who I really, really rate, you see their bait tray and they'll have they'll have a few bits, but you can mm. see it's like okay, they might have some pellets, some maggots, and a bit of meat. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that'll be. They won't have three flavours of meat and no, eight no, different no. types of pellets you never ever see any of that yeah, you know it's, it's about keeping it simple isn't it yeah it it, is, it's mate, it you is. just try, if you overcomplicate things and you know like i say if you if you're winding in and changing up baits and chucking back out and winding in and changing up baits all the time you your chances are you might be missing them fish yeah you're not waiting you know yeah no, yeah, no, yeah so we've got an invader here my cat's come to see us sorry about that Anyway, yeah. Uh, so I mean, so at the end of the match, you've just won it by 800 grams, and yeah. that's it. Qualified fisher mania. I mean, amazing. you know, yeah, it is amazing, mate. I, you know, it's funny. I was saying to somebody the other day the consistency of a certain few anglers. Perry's just qualified again for mm. the final. Yourself, all right. You've got to draw a peg. Yeah. But I would have said, from what you've told me there. That general area where you've been, where there was a few big carp, I think you'd have, I think you'd have had a very similar match. All right, you might have been 800 grams short, but yeah, yeah, you'd have yeah, had a very yeah. similar match in that little yeah. area of pegs, I think, because yeah. obviously there was a few fish there. Yeah, but yeah. you've done it right, and you've done it. I mean, nobody else has won anything like that around you. So mm. for me, but big fish make a difference. So do, yeah. I think, do. I think one thing you've got to remember when you're fishing these big matches is that. 
you know, look at how the same people seem to always get, the, not the rub, but they always seem to get the results because if they get a peg, like Andy's had, he's made the most of it. It's not even a, it's not, well it is a winning peg because he's won, but it's not a, an end peg like he said, but he's managed to turn it into a winner with a bit of patience, keeping a steady head, and obviously, you know, when you start getting an odd big fish, you're thinking to yourself, right, I haven't got to catch it. I haven't got to yeah. absolutely empty this place to catch. We I mean, were blowing a South Easterly yesterday, so yeah, yeah, it was never right. going to be a big weight that won the no, match, was no, it? No, no, no. Like I say, it, I've, I've been, I, I think I've been lucky in the terms that it's fish hard because generally it's an end peg venue when they can catch stupid over 200 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah and you can't pegs. compete. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, that happened no. last year at Laughing Fishermania. I was third off one of the island pegs. Yeah. And Jamie Hughes and uh, and the I forget, I, I, sorry I forget the chap's name who won the match but they were both on the end pegs either side of the island and they were first and second it yeah, wasn't a lot yeah. in it it was only about fifteen pound didn't yeah, it yeah yeah very close wasn't yeah, it? you know but you think to yourself wow that's em you know they had one hundred and fifty pound and it was almost like that's just a bit too much for me I couldn't. Yeah. You know, I couldn't quite push my peg to that sort of you limit. Can't, you, you can only do so much, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can, you can. So, well, anyway, mate, well done again. Thanks again. Cheers. Honestly, proper buzzing for you. Thank you, mate. Another bouncy man in the final. That's what we like to see. Um, you know, I wouldn't bet against uh, other names that you know being in the final again this year. So, uh, anyway, hopefully, I might be one of them. But I don't know if I draw as well as him. So, oh, anyway, I don't know. Cheers, mate. See ya. Cheers, Bye. Mate.